What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. We are exactly two weeks into the prep. Tomorrow is 14 weeks out from the show. That's very exciting. Um, progressing very well. Woke up this morning at 194.6. Lowest weigh in this prep was 192. Point something. I was like 192.4. That was yesterday. So that's pretty cool. Also, today's a leg day, so that means we got oodles and oodles of carbs. To consume today. Let me check. I'm bad with numbers, so I forgot how many it is. It's 360 carbs and then the usual 230 protein, 75 fat. So, got something, got a little up here. Oh, let's... ordered a couple of cases of these bad boys uh, because I often catch myself like stopping at, at uh, Casey's or whatever to get energy drinks. And like, first of all, I like these better than monsters. So I might as well, like pretty much, unless if I buy the monsters in bulk, the price is the same. And so uh, a lot of times I'll just order some of these. So to get some carbs in, I'm just gonna have some toast. I know a lot of people say bread in the best for you, uh, whatever. So there's 25 carbs in two slices, five protein and one fat, so. Pretty much straight carbs, that's what we're looking for. I'll probably have like four pieces. Get a good 50 carbs in before we go to the gym. And gonna crush it. So when I'm bulking, I don't really care, but like when I'm cutting, um, getting a good sweat in the gym is kind of, I don't, it makes me feel like I'm doing more and I'm, obviously I'm burning more calories. But in order to do that, if I work out in a t-shirt and shorts or t-shirt and even joggers, I won't really sweat. So I have a long sleeve shirt on right there, and then I have a hoodie on. Probably won't take this off at all. Maybe to squat, because sometimes it gets a little difficult to squat. But that's when you really start to sweat. Also, I keep it on during cardio, and wearing two layers during cardio by the end, this shirt will be soaked, and the hoodie will be pretty much wet through. Get a little bit of extra calories burned during you know, your workout. And also, I feel, more, I feel a lot more like a badass whenever I'm you know, lifting and I start sweating pretty good. Oh my god. It is a beautiful day. What a beautiful dog. I think it's like 62 degrees at the moment. There's the sun. Can you see it? I can't. Oh yeah. 200 milligrams of caffeine. So you might be wondering, what else supplements I'm taking or if I'm taking any pre-workout currently I'm not taking pre-workout and simple reason for that is Justin's not too fond of very many pre-workouts and also he has me taking a lot of other supplements so I'm kind of spending like a couple hundred bucks on supplements a month so pre-workout is just like another 40 bucks 30 40 bucks a month for it so I'm like you know what I don't I don't need a pre-workout as long as I get some caffeine like oh a lot of times I would either get a monster or just get some coffee before I go to the gym and so I mean that's good enough for me I don't have to worry about a paying for it and also finding or you getting the ones that you know that he likes off the leg workout with some squats actually we started with hamstring curls leg extensions but you've seen those enough so those are more so of a warm-up movement less than a like a super active set so I start off with squats. First set was 245. Um, it felt pretty good. Last couple reps were starting to feel pretty heavy. But I decided to go up to 265. Probably should have gone to 255 instead. Uh, got a few pretty solid reps and then last like three or four were really questionable. Really starting to feel the effects of the weight and everything. And then after that we did sumo deadlifts with a two-second negative. Um, not every rep is perfect with the with the tempo, but do it. After that we did um, hip thrusts or whatever, but I didn't record those because I feel weird enough doing those. I think recording them would just be even weirder. So we did some hamstring curls again, but this was a five by five with 30 second rest in between. So with five by fives, you go pretty heavy, short rest in between. Um, 
Hamstring curls are stupid, and then that machine is really stupid, so it's whatever. After that, last thing we did was some goblet squats. We did about four sets, eight to 12, nothing special on these. Um, really feeling the quads. The problem with this gym is the biggest dumbbell is 75. And so like things like rows and goblet squats, 75 isn't really all that much. And so like you kind of have to focus on doing other things besides like, besides the weight. Like on these, I kind of did uh, pause reps. You're not supposed to, um, but I did just because it's either that or do a whole bunch of reps. Test mic. All right, so it is Saturday now. Woke up around 194.2, like I think. And no, it was, it was 194 flat. The thing that sucks about this prep right now, not really this prep, but just, well, yeah, part of this prep is the Stairmaster. Like, I enjoy doing the Stairmaster to a degree uh, just because it makes you feel good. But currently, like, I can't get my legs to not be sore because I hit them twice a week. Plus, doing Stairmaster five times a week, I'm constantly uh, using my legs a lot. So, right now, they're just freaking... Oh, beyond sore. Um, hoping, hoping, because today's a rest day, so hoping that, like, I'll, hoping that I'll get a little bit of time to, to recover, and then Sunday, I'm not hitting legs. Monday, I'm not hitting legs, so I don't hit legs again until Tuesday. Uh, so hopefully that'll give me enough time to, you know, get recovered and everything, because it just seems like my legs have been sore for a long time. So here's a rundown today. I got work around five, and that means that, I have about four hours to kill. Not really to kill, I'm gonna get some stuff done. But I have about four hours until then. Um, also, today is a cheat meal day. So I wanna talk a little bit about like what all that entails because you know, on prep, obviously everything needs to be very, very like calculated and everything. So the way that we do cheat meals is you basically divide your macros, um, not divide, but you times them by 75%. So you only eat 75% of your total macros for the day and then you have a cheat meal and you don't you don't like calculate the cheat meal but it's like what you want in a setting obviously um to a degree if you take it crazy or try to extend the time then it's gonna wear on you know the physique and it's gonna have negative effects but cheat meals are important um especially you know during a prep you know when your calories are low your body um can go into like a survival mode where it'll slow down your metabolism because it doesn't want to you know because it's it's not getting in enough calories, so it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to get rid of too much. So, um, cheat meals are good in that sense. Justin said that when it's time to take them away, we will. He hasn't told me to take them away yet, so we're still going with that. Right now, I'm making some chicken on the stove. No, I'm stupid. I'm making some chicken on the grill. I haven't actually put it on there. Just warmed up. Just got the grill going, getting it warmed up. Now, a lot of times I make my chicken on the stove with like just a pan, but. Honestly, I'm kind of getting tired of it. It's just, you know, eating the same thing three times a day. It, it gets a little old. So I cooked it on the grill last time, and it had, like, more of a smoky flavor, which I enjoy. So I'm just going to cook a big old pack and then throw some in the fridge, heat them up. I don't like them heated up, but also this takes a little bit more time than cooking them on the stovetop does just because you got to warm up the grill and everything. So peaceful and everything. All right, guys, it's the next day. So, so last night I didn't go home until like two. Didn't get out of Roadhouse until midnight, and then we went to Old Chicago, like we always do, for about an hour and a half, eight, and then chilled for a little bit, um, and then came home. I'm about to have some chicken right now. I'm about to go to the gym after that. So, I can't decide if I'm gonna end the vlog or not. Guess we'll find out.